Hi, welcome to another video short for Calculus for All. And today's topic is looking at another example, specifically example number two for instantaneous rate of change. Now, in our previous example, we looked at the interpretation of the instantaneous rate of change being a way of determining the instantaneous velocity when you're given a position function. Today's interpretation is using the instantaneous rate of change to determine the slope of a tangent line to a function at a specific point. So our function today is f of x equals 1 over x, and we would like to determine the slope of the tangent line specifically at x equals minus 2. So let's bring out the definition um, of the instantaneous rate of change. This equals the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now recall, when you are determining uh, the instantaneous rate of change, you have two techniques that you can use. Um, one allows you to leave the x in the limit expression, and when you evaluate the limit expression, you'll obtain an equation in terms of x that allows you to determine uh, the slope of the tangent line at any point x. Now, it requires you to do um, algebraic manipulation with a few variables, and it may be a bit more challenging. The other way is to substitute the value that we'd like to determine the slope of the tangent line at, in this example, minus 2, into the limit expression and evaluate it that way. The algebra is, algebra is a bit more easier, and it will give you the exact uh, slope of the tangent line that you require. So we'll use this technique. We'll substitute x equals minus 2 into my limit expression. So I've got the limit as h goes to 0 of f of minus 2 plus h minus f of minus 2 all over h. We'll substitute uh, uh, minus 2 plus h into my function. Now, you'll notice here that we've got a, a difference of a quotient. And in itself, is part of a quotient. Now, a lot of students get a bit confused with trying to algebraically rearrange this. You may find it easier, rather than dividing by h, to multiply it by 1 over h. Let me show you. So this is equivalent to the previous line, but it makes the algebra manipulation just a bit easier. It's not as, as, as confusing when you've got multiple layers. So, we, before we can subtract, we need to get a common denominator. So, let me just do some algebra here. We can now subtract. I nice thing about this is we can rearrange and simplify. And because um, we have a, an h on the top and an h on the bottom, and h goes to 0, this is an indeterminate form. In fact, you'll recognize that if you substituted minus 2 in for x, at every step of the way, you always had an indeterminate form. We're at a location where we've simplified. We can actually remove that um, indeterminate uh, uh, form by canceling out our h's. So there they go. And now we simply can allow h to go to 0. So if we allow h to go to 0, we get minus 1 over minus 2 times minus 2. And algebraically, that just simplifies to minus 1 quarter. So this is the slope of the tangent line to our function 1 over x, specifically at x equals minus 2. So um, let me just show you a graph of that. So here's my function, f of x equals 1 over x. Um, I'll pop in my point x equals minus 2, and the slope of the tangent line is the slope of this line right here. And we know that slope of that line is minus 1 over 4. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching.